Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom. As always, hope you're doing well today. And in this video, we're gonna get a little sentimental and then we're gonna talk about a new guitar that I got. So before we get into the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all the YouTube stuff out of the way. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, why not? We talk about guitars here and we do fun stuff. So please make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you give the video a like and make sure you click that bell notification to be notified when all of my videos go live. I try to upload once a week if possible. So um, plenty of content on the way. And if you really like my stuff, if you wanna go and buy a piece of merch from my merch store over at Teespring or Redbubble, I've got some links down there in the description as well. I've got shirts, I've got stickers. If you want any other kind of merch, hat, what have you, let me know, I'll put it on there and then you can buy to your heart's content. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, have a little bit of a story time. If you don't wanna hear it, I'll leave a timestamp to go straight to the review and then we'll get into the review. So I'm on TikTok, and I know that doesn't sound relevant, but um, I don't post on there as much as I used to, but if you wanna go follow me, link in the description. Um, but I made a video a little while back asking the public to help me find a specific guitar. And that guitar was my first real electric. And it had some defining features to it. Um, I had upgraded it and everything, and it, you know, obviously that can change, but maybe someone who bought it would remember, hey, it had this and that and the other and uh, I know where it's at or whatever. And I may make a full video here just so anyone here that watches the video can help me. But anyway, so I did that, no avail, don't have it. So about a year ago, I actively said, you know what, I'm gonna try to find it. So I've been scouring all the used markets, music go around, uh, Guitar Center, Musician's Friend, eBay, Craigslist, Reverb, all that stuff, again, to no avail. But recently I said, you know what, I just want that guitar back. It doesn't have to be that specific one. I would still like to try to find that specific one, but just to have that model back, just to have the feel in my hands and the sound. So I gave it a little bit of time, one popped up on Guitar Center used, and I got it, and it's right here in my lap. And I've been so super, super excited about it, and I've not put it down since. So what is the guitar? It is this, it's an Ibanez. And specifically, it's an Ibanez RG2EX1. So this wasn't a very expensive guitar to begin with. I think new, they were like $200, $300, something like that. Years and years and years ago, they no longer make them. It's a discontinued model. The second that I took it out of the case, because it came with a case, it came with a TKL case. So I was like, hey, nice win for me. But the second I took it out of the case, it just felt like home. I mean, I, I instantly, the feel of the deck, I was just like, wow. And my inner 14 year old Jonathan was just like, so if you jump to this point from the timestamp in the description, calm down, we're getting into it. This is an Ibanez RG2EX1. This is a discontinued model, Ibanez no longer makes it. This is a 2008 model. I don't remember when they discontinued them, um, but they're really, really good guitars. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. We'll start with the headstock here. Everybody knows what the Ibanez headstock looks like. This one's got the uh, little check on it, you know, a little swoosh looking thing here. Not a lot of Ibanez's nowadays really have those. Like the higher end ones don't, it just says Ibanez. It looks cool, but I like this a lot. It just, it brings back memories. Binding on the side of the headstock there. You flip over to the back, you can see where it says RG2EX1 there, identifying the model. Uh, you got just some die cast tuners. They're not branded or anything, but they hold tuned pretty well. Working our way down, we have a plastic nut, cut pretty well, it looks in, Pretty good shape on this one, so no plans to change that in the near future. On to the neck. So we have a Rosewood Fingerboard 24 Jumbo Frets, dot inlays. We got binding on both sides of the neck. Looks really, really cool. And a three-piece maple neck. So for those of you that don't know, Ibanez are pretty notorious for their really, really thin necks. This one's no exception. So this one is a Wizard 2. I'm not very familiar with the tier levels, I guess, of the Wizard necks. So this one's not like super duper thin. I have played thinner than this, but again, it's familiar territory for me with playing this guitar, this model for so long when I did. It's super duper comfortable. Working our way down to the body, this is a basswood or basswood body. It's not very heavy. Uh, it's probably about average. So whatever you think average guitar weight is, put it in that camp. This one's finished in ebony. Uh, this model came in a red color and a blue color as well. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen the red. I've seen a lot of the blues. Uh, they look pretty cool, but the black one is the one that I had, so that's the one I got here. The pickups are the Ibanez V7 
and V8. Um, they're not super duper high output, but they get the job done. One volume, one tone. These are not the knobs that come on it stock. I think they were just metal knobs, like the black kind of with the grips on the side, but these have been replaced, not by me. It's missing the switch tip here, which I will get replaced at some point, but this is a five-way switch. Now, interestingly enough, um, this is a 2008 model. If you buy, I think if you buy an older one than that, it's like a 07, 06, something like that, it's only gonna have a three-way. Um, this one's got a five-way, which pleasantly surprised me because mine, the one that I had sold that I was talking about earlier, had a three-way if I remember correctly. So to get the five-way, it's a nice little added bonus. And then you got your Ibanez uh, bridge here, saddles, all that kind of stuff. It all works. Flipping over to the back, uh, not too, too much going on. Your cavity here for your electronics. It's a bolt-on neck. You got the four screws here, so it's super, super secure. The heel is carved away super comfortably, so access to the high frets, not a problem. And then it's also a string through body, so you get uh, the benefits of that. I don't know if I mentioned the binding on the side of the body, but that looks really cool as well. And there you have it. My Ibanez RG2EX1. Calling it mine because this is an awesome guitar. Uh, whichever one you pick up, it'll be great. They make, there's, there's one called the uh, RG2EX2, which is white. Uh, but they're they're pretty much the same. Great guitars. If you find them, they're they're on the cheap, on the used market. They're about 150 bucks. I think I paid about 150 with this, and I got that case. So uh, enough babbling. I've talked a lot in this video. Let's go ahead and see what this thing sounds like in a mix, and I'll give you guys individual tones because we got a lot of them to go through.